So, voila, there's your design. And you carry it and take it with you. I mean, this is not designing. I mean, if I move my hand, this is a disaster. <laughs> so, voila, there's your design. <laughs> and you carry it and take it with you. All right, so I have emptied this so that we can create this hamper. Now, let's put into picture what designing is not. Designing is not this. Ugh. See, you can't even enter. I don't know how you guys do it, but you don't just put everything. I mean... This is not designing. I, I mean, I, if I move my hand, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is not designing. Except that is your intent, of course. But you wouldn't start off like this, coming off to design a hamper. So you want to spend time thinking about the end, how you want it to look at the end. So usually, I start with the front of the hamper. I'm just going to try to make sure you guys see how it builds up. So we're back to square one because we want to design a hamper. <laughs> All right. Um looking at what we did earlier or what i did earlier i saw that i wanted my um lovely beautiful uh diffuser and reed to show so this is definitely going to be in front the only problem i had with this was the name wasn't showing can you see it went down below so that was what i was trying to explain on the design that sometimes we need risers you could use the the shredded paper and things like that but sometimes we also like to use functional items like this tea this tea lifts up this uh, diffuser just to the right amount I need it to so that you can see the name clearly yeah so you I, I mean you might not recognize this whole bottle but you might know that Desiree is a lovely um, diffuser so this was my showcase item I needed it to show the next item was uh, my wine I love the bottle it looks really cool this um, I didn't put this I put this in front because it was the only one that could take this and it wasn't a bad looking thing in front even if it's the only one that can take this space, if it doesn't look good, it's not making it in, right? So um, this is next. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try and make the back work, but you've seen the front, which usually is what I start with. I want to see what it's going to look like. So now it's time for us to fill up the back. The problem I have here is that these items are very high. So it means that they're going to completely block out the view you're going to get from this hamper, if you, no, facing front. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> so I need to lift this up again. Yes, that's how much lifting I need to do. <laughs> so I'm going to use this T to lift this up. T's are the culprit here, but it doesn't always mean they are. So I'm going to use this to lift this. Uh, I probably I'm going to use this to lift two of them. This two, so you can at least see small of my <laughs> stuff. And this pasta, not bad looking. There's space inside. If you look closely, mm, this side. You'll be able to see that I still got space once I put the biscuits. So it's, you know, and luckily I could have put this down, but it was this was going to block this and it, you wouldn't get to see anything. So I'm going to put this and then this, I'll still use that to lift it up, the riser. Um, I think I ended up putting this at the back because if it wasn't showing very well in front, it would make a great view at the back. So I moved this forward, still using the T as a ground for both of them. And I put this at the back. Um... Try not to squash anything. This one goes to this side and this one goes to this side. Yeah. So, voila. This is the front of the hamper which you have been seeing. And I'm going to move this to the back. So, you can see, if you look at the back, you can see my chocolate. If you look at the side, you can see my chocolate biscuits. And this, if you look at the front, you can see three items. If you look at this side, you can see. So, you want to make sure your stuff shows on almost every side. You understand? So, now let's pack this up so voila is your design i left this here so it'd be easier but i'm not sure it's easy right now you have to be careful because this nets they tear or have holes in them very easily this is not enough this is enough i have to adjust them to the required length on the table and as carefully as possible Ugh. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. 
back is still looking a bit short, but let me check the other side. So this is how you style your hamper after designing. Make sure your content all showing in front. You hold this as carefully as possible so it doesn't leave a rumpled edge. Uh, I still need to, the back is quite short. So I want to take some from the front. So I'm going to move this forward a bit. Yep. Um, yeah. Move this forward as well. Yeah. Cool. Uh, is this short now? Not really. Yeah. And this is the net. The nylon is a similar process, right? But it does, uh, you, nylon may not be this friendly. <laughs> yeah. But the nylon gives it that glittery look, that uh, shiny look that most people love about hampers. This gives a more mature look that some people like as well. So you pull out all of this, make sure there are no excesses at the bottom. Then I think about where I want to tie the hamper. Do I want, because I'm going to put a bow here, the bow is going to cover certain things. How do I want this to reflect? Uh, this is my rope. I'm going to tie it in the middle here. And like I say, you tie this at the back so that we don't see any tacking in front. Oh no, that's not the bow. That's the bow on the table there. This is just to tie this down. You don't want to use the bow to tie it in case you need to loosen the bow or something. Now it's time to trim. Uh, it's not like a haircut, haircut thing. <laughs> you just want to make sure that they are closed. Like, you know, these sides are closed, but this side isn't. And if you're the, oh, I love it, perfect. Good for you. Use a sharp knife because, uh, I said knife, a sharp scissors so that you can get it done without leaving too many stop gaps. Yeah, um, here looks higher. So I'm going to cut that. Ah, I like it already. I hope you do. Okay, so this is uh, what our hamper is looking like. I'm just going to show you around again. The front, the back, the sides. Are you feeling it? <laughs> this is what your hamper should look like. Right. Okay, so now it's time to fix the bow. The bow is going to be in front. You, but you always want to keep looking at it to see how it's going to sit at the top. Like this bottle is touching this. So I want to try and accommodate the bow without squishing it. So I'm going to leave a lot more gap at the back so that the bow looks like this when it's done. So instead of making it tight, I'm going to make it a bit loose. But it doesn't affect how the bow is going to how the bow is going to stay it's still going to stay but if it's tighter it's going to be squeezed in and look stressed yeah bows can be stressed too <laughs> okay so i tied my bow at the back yeah if you are still finicky you can do some more trimming right i already did this so i can't show you that so voila here's your design <laughs> and you carry it and take a picture <laughs> because you're proud of it thank you